Do you have a material pet? Material girl. Material girl. Material girl. I gotta stop, I gotta stop, I gotta stop. I am losing daylight. Hey there, thanks for stopping by. My name's Emma, and today I am doing a triumphant haul. I don't know about you guys, but when I go thrifting, I allow myself to have one dumb purchase. So that means if I find something really stupid while I'm at the thrift store, I'm allowed to take one of those stupid things home. I figured why not start with one of those dumb things because I'm actually really happy I ended up getting it because there's no purpose. It's just really pretty. I got it from Goodwill and it is this little picnic basket. The orange ribbon was already mine, but it's just, come on, like, is there anything cuter than this? And along with the fact that it is so small and so cute, it has little flowers painted on it all the way around. The next item has a purpose. It really does. When I bought it, it didn't have that purpose, but now that I own it, I'm really glad I bought it. And I got this item on Poshmark. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I sell a bit on Poshmark as well as Depop, but I only recently got into Poshmark. Anyway, the item I got, I love so, so much. You have definitely seen it on Instagram at least twice. Probably more, I think. Probably more. Uh, but they are these pair of little black fuzzy earmuffs with a band that it's like fake pearls. For those of you who don't know, uh, the first designer I really got obsessed with was Christian Siriano. And the statistic that got me interested in him was that he doubled his sizing and in the span of one year tripled his income. Which like, if that's not an excuse for more designers to offer inclusive sizing, I'm not sure what would be because I feel like a lot of them run on money. To be honest, I use these most frequently when I'm walking to work because I really don't like messing up my hair with a hat if I'm gonna take it off once I get to work. Because once you put a hat on short hair, you're done. You're done. There's no going back. You have to wear the hat for the rest of the day. So this is the perfect alternative because it means I don't have to wear a hat at work every day. And also my ears get really cold when I'm walking to work. So. Next up uh, for miscellaneous accessories is just a black belt. It's got an oval buckle with silver and black stripes on the buckle itself. And then the belt is black. It's got like a snakeskin motif, but I will say it has not held up. It had a little bit of cracking around the holes when I first got it. And I was like, yeah, okay, it's a thrift store belt. That's fine. I've only worn it a couple of times, but uh, clearly, clearly it was not intended to actually hold up pants. I'm going to hold on to this now for the time being because it is the only black belt I own. And I feel like that's kind of a staple most people need in their wardrobe. <laughs> but as soon as I find a new black belt that actually will hold up pants without falling apart, yeah. So we're gonna move on to clothes. I don't really have a specific order for these. They're just kind of in a pile on my bed. So I'm gonna grab one and go with it. I don't know. Okay, the first item I've got, I, Honestly, a lot of this has shown up on Instagram, but I promise there are ones that you will not have seen. I don't know if that's like a fashion YouTuber faux pas or something, but I did it. I'm probably gonna keep doing it. The first item is this little cropped pattern mixing plaid jacket. It's got two, it's got different panels of plaid and houndstooth, all in black and white. And I have the cuffs rolled on the sleeves because they don't button around my forearms that it's too tight. Like there's like an inch and a half of space when I have them on, so I just I fold the sleeves up. Well, no. It's like with button-up cardigans. Like, if you can't button it, and you leave it open, and you style it that way, nobody has to know. It's a secret. Also, I forgot to mention the brand is Carol Little. I haven't heard the brand before, but, I mean, I like the jacket. The next item is a t-shirt that I've styled with a jacket, but arguably the t-shirt is cooler, and I think you'll agree with me because it is a Taylor Swift red t-shirt like the original, which we all, we all love Taylor's version more, but like the fact that I found this t-shirt at the thrift store and it's in my size, I had a whole moment. Uh, I found this little suit vest. So the front is just like a nice heathered dark blue and the back is a slate gray, I think is the color. It's like a grayish blue sort of satiny material. And, but the best part about it is if I unbutton it, and flip it around. This purse is by Thrifting Pride and Joy. I love it so much. It is a orange textured leather guess purse. 
I've seen a guest purse from the 80s. I've seen multiple from like y the Y2K aesthetic. I think this one's definitely Y2K. I love this one so much. It's such a pretty orange, but it's a it's a nice soft bright orange. I don't know if that makes any sense. So this purse has two big circles on the side and attached is the two straps. So I've got one that fits more crossbody and then one shorter one that's made mostly of chain and it's got a small little handle. The thing I really like about it is if I want to just have a small little shoulder bag, the straps will come unclipped. I really want to do an all blue outfit and style it with this orange purse because Okay, those are all the items I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching this thrift haul. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!